Good morning. My name is John Belber. I'm here at Holly Hill Farm in Cohasset. Janice McPhillips is filming our first poetry engagement from the farm about the farm. And maybe we'll learn more about the farm as we listen to poetry. I would love to hear from folks who have a fo favorite poem about the environment or about a working farm like we are. We're a nonprofit working farm teaching and growing vegetables on this land that's been here for many hundreds of years and was farm and land and home to Native Americans even before current members of this family are here farming and growing. So I have some poetry. I'm going to read one poem today from this lovely book here, Poems for the Planet. It's a lovely gift that has all kinds of poems, and I picked out one that I thought would be nice to share on this sunny winter day. And here goes. A Very Common Field by Patty Ann Rogers. A Very Common Field. What is it about this grassy field that's so familiar to me? Something within the beings, the form of the place, it's not within the foxtail, not within the brome, not within oat grass or red clover or yellow vetch or the lot of them as one motion in the wind. It's not the morning or even of the morning or of the invisible crickets, one near, one away, still sounding in the damp after dawn. What is it so resonant and recognized here? A sense like nostalgia, like manner, like a state felt but not remembered. It isn't the center of the purple cornflower or its rayed and fluted edges, not the slow rise of the land or the few scattered trees left in the fallow orchard, not the stone path, not the grains and bristles of stems and seeds, each oblivious in its own business, but something impossible without these. It's more than the increasing depth of the day and the blue of its height, more than the half body of the lizard turned upside down on the path, torn and transfigured during the night, more than the bells beginning their lesson in the background. It's not a voice, not a message, but something like a lingering, a reluctance to abandon, abiding so constantly present that I can never isolate it from the disorderly crows passing over or from the sun moving as wind down through the brief fires of moisture on the blades of Timothy and sage. Never separate, separate it from the scent of fields dry and warm never isolated from my own awareness. It is something that makes possible, that occasions without causing, something I can never extricate to name, never name to know, never know to imitate. There are other poems here that I could read. Today I'm just going to start with one and I invite you to contact us at the farm, hollyhillfarm.org. I'm J-O-N at hollyhillfarm.org. We are here, still teaching, still growing, even in winter, and I'd love to hear about a poem that interests you regarding the environment and our precious earth, and we'll continue to provide some poems of inspiration in these hard times, and maybe one day we'll gather here soon together and we can read some poems together here on this wonderful bit of farmland. Thanks for listening. Keep on reading, and let us know if you have a poem to share and hope to see you at the farm.